Hey everyone and welcome back. We're going to be talking about something that I'm pretty passionate about and that is accessibility. Now, we live in an incredibly diverse world full of so many types of users and we can't assume that all users are going to experience our products in the same way. And here comes accessibility. And simply that is why it's so important. If one person can't actually use your designs or your product, you really have failed them. An accessible product is one where all your users can actually enjoy it. Unfortunately, when we design products, we always design for the majority of users in mind, which are users who do not experience any difficulty when using any type of product. In most cases, there is very little insight into designing individual components that will work for every user. Nobody ever thinks about the user who has function only in one hand, or a user who has trouble with hearing, or a user who has visual impairments. Accessible design aids in creating a better experience for everyone. It could be for somebody who has a permanent disability, or maybe a temporary disability, and even a situational impairment. Contrary to popular belief that accessible design is sacrificing the visual quality of your product, it does in fact make it better for every single user. Let's take a moment to think about our world. Think about ramps or sloped curbs. Now they've been designed for helping those in wheelchairs get around. This isn't the only use though. Think about everywhere you have seen a ramped curb. Parents with strollers, people making deliveries with trolleys, people bike riding. I mean, it just makes our life that much easier. What about push to open buttons? They're installed in most stores, in most places, to aid people in wheelchairs. And if you were to think if they weren't installed in a place or an establishment, you'd think that that would be pretty odd. They help all of us when you have too many bags to carry or a child that can't really muster the strength to open the door by themselves. Also, sometimes it's just easier to use one. We shouldn't have the mindset that accessibility is a checklist or a set of requirements, but it should be ingrained in how we design. We should be designing for all people. Next, I'm going to talk about some assistive technologies.